Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Another warm day for most of us. Upper 70s to about 80 up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Today. Even 79 in Santa Cruz. So uh, that was the warm spot around the bay. 78 Coralitas, upper 70s, low 80s. Santa Clara Valley, 82 in Gilroy, 75 Hollister. And the Salinas Valley with a string of low 80s. Very pleasant, 72 in Salinas. And very little, if any, fog. We had one patch reported around PG this morning. They only got to 62. We had middle 60s, though, in Pebble Beach and 75 in Big Sur with 74 in Carmel Valley. In the rest of the state, warm, not hot by any stretch. We did get to low 90s, though, in Palm Springs for the hot spot and low 60s up in Lake Tahoe, a string of 80s in the Central Valley. And it's still warm in the Central Valley tonight. 81 in Sacramento right now, 80 in Fresno. Upper 50s, Tahoe, 80 in Vegas. So starting to see some of that warmer weather in the deserts finally. And the temperatures overall have been up the last 24 hours. So we did that warming trend the last several days, adding three, four, five degrees per day. The other thing we're looking at is how dry it's starting to get, right? Without the cold fronts and the storms moving through, it's really dried out. The relative humidity is down 17, 18, 20 percent. Uh, for the inland areas, of course, the coast, it's a different story with the uh, marine layer and at least the influence of the ocean, 31% up in Lake Tahoe. So as we move towards fire season, which we do every year in the summertime, we want to see what's going to happen. Well, we still got a big snowpack, so the higher elevations in the Sierra will not be uh, watched very closely for quite a while, probably several months. But the foothills will start drying out in the next month or two, and then, of course, the lowlands and the Central Valley will be dried out first. So it'll be grass fires first, most likely and then the bigger timber fires later in the summer. That's the way it usually goes, and that'll probably be the case this year, even more so with all that snow that still needs to melt. A couple of high clouds. There's a system way offshore, so what we're going to see is two things happening over the next couple of days. Some high clouds will move in, and the marine layer will start to reestablish itself, and then this guy moves to the coast Saturday night and Sunday. That just brings us a general amount of overcast and maybe even a passing shower. We'll be watching that closely. Low clouds and fog probably redeveloping a little bit tonight around the peninsula, but not pushing inland. A few high clouds, too. Those low clouds may not push too far off tomorrow, so we'll probably see some cooling around the bay, but we'll keep a lot of sunshine going from Santa Cruz to Gilroy to Soledad to King City. The next day, though, of course, is a different story. By Saturday, the marine layer is pushed all the way inland, and it never backs off. It kind of sticks around the coast. And we have the high clouds and then even more so on Sunday when that system arrives. So we'll be watching that for maybe a passing shower. It's a slight chance, but certainly something to watch on Sunday. Clear inland tonight, patchy bay fog, chilly temps, mid 40s for most of us to upper 40s. For tomorrow, we'll see temperatures in the 60s to low 70s at the coast. So that's a little bit of a cooling trend there, about three to five degrees. We should get a good bit of sun all the way to about the beach. So the ocean's edge could hang on to some of those low clouds around PG Seaside Marina. Mostly sunny, though, for the valleys and hills. Seasonably warm tomorrow, 70s, low 80s. And up in San Francisco, 63, 69 for Oakland, 76 in San Jose. In the Santa Cruz Mountains, still up for 70s to low 80s. So no real cooling there. Some cooling, though, along the beaches for Aptos, Capitola, upper 60s to low to mid 70s. And we have mid 70s in Coralitas, some low 80s still going, though, for Gilroy and Morgan Hill, 75 in Hollister. Salinas Valley also seeing the low 80s again, upper 60s, though, here in Salinas. So we'll start to see some of that bay breeze making its way into Salinas tomorrow afternoon and low 60s around the peninsula. But we're hoping for at least partly to mostly sunny skies by afternoon and then more cool weather moving our way. Mid 60s, uh, probably going to do it on Saturday for us at the coast and even cooler on Sunday. We'll put a slight chance of a passing shower. I don't think we're going to see much, but it's something we'll watch closely as we get uh, towards that over the weekend. And then 60s and 70s, a little rebound next week. So kind of a spring pattern going. Overnight lows will be in mostly in the 40s. Daytime highs for the valleys, mostly 70s. And then we'll just see 60s Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Not bad. Not no, nice little change. Got to have a little change, yeah, right? Exactly. Exactly.